This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hi, everyone, and welcome to TV44's High School Whiz Quiz Winter Edition of 2018. Well, they came from a field of 16. They're now down to the final two teams for the championship. We have Patrick Henry High School and Ada High School taking on each other for that championship. We're going to introduce you now to the players who have worked very hard this season. Joining us from Patrick Henry, we have Andrew Neese, Nathan Bosselman, Nicholas Bosselman, and Neil Jakeway. Patrick Henry is coached by Rick Fricky. Welcome back, gentlemen. All right, moving over to Ada now. We have Austin Ambergy, Alex Hertig, Terry Sheridan, and Eric Katayama. And Ada is coached by Dave Lusk. Welcome back to you as well. All right, guys, this is played a little bit differently. We have 20 questions in each round. We have three rounds. They are all up for grabs, so get those buzzers ready. Again, we have our judge with us, Mark Dickman, and hopefully we will not have to put him to work, but um, if we have any questions, we will refer them to him, okay? Everybody set? Let's have fun with this, okay? Question number one. What language is the Magna Carta written in? Yes, Patrick Henry. English. English is incorrect. Ada, you want to try it? Yes. Latin? Latin is the answer. Question number two. What did Anne Frank receive for her 13th birthday? Yes, Ada? A diary. A diary is the correct oh, answer. Geez. Question number three. What sports first pro game was played in Trenton, New Jersey? Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Baseball. Baseball is incorrect, so we can turn it over to Ada to try. Yes. Basketball. Basketball is correct. All right. What did God create after he created heaven and earth? Yes, Patrick Henry. The ocean. The ocean is incorrect. Ada, you want to try? Yes. The sun. The sun is incorrect. It is light. All right, question five. How fast does light travel? Yes, Patrick Henry. 300,000 meters per second. That is incorrect. Ada, do you want to try? Yes. Three times 10 to the eighth meters a second. I don't think that is the answer that we're looking for. It is 186,000 miles per second is the answer. All right, question number six. What artist created the World War II portrait of Rosie the Riveter? Yes, Patrick Henry. Norman Rockwell. Norman Rockwell is the answer. All right, in sports, what does the acronym MVP stand for? Yes, Ada? Most Valuable Player. You are correct, Most Valuable Player. Question number eight in our first round. The outermost layer of the Earth is called what? Yes, Patrick Henry. The thermosphere. That is incorrect, Ada? Yes. The crust. Crust is correct. All right, what U.S. holiday is celebrated on November 11th of each year? Yes, Ada. Thanksgiving. That is incorrect, Patrick Henry. You wanna try? Veterans Day. Veterans Day is the answer. All right, question 10. December 1777, 10,000 men camped at this U.S. site that begins, yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Valley Forge. Valley Forge is the answer. All right, moving into our final 10 questions in our first round. What is the highest possible score in 10-pin bowling? Patrick Henry. 300. 300 is correct. What animals kill the most people in Africa? Yes, Patrick Henry. Uh, hippos. You are correct, hippopotamus, all right. Foxes, wolves, and jackals all belong to what? Yes, Ada. Canines. Canines is correct. 
In what European city would you find gondola races? Yes, Ada? Venice. Venice is the answer. What is a sci-fi term beginning with the letter A for an artificial but human-like being? Yes, Patrick Henry. Artificial intelligence. That is incorrect. So Ada, you've got a chance here. Yes. Android. Android is the answer. All right, what is the last name of the first American woman in space? Yes, Patrick Henry. Brown. That is incorrect. Ada, you want to try? Smith. Smith, also incorrect. It was Sally Ride in 1983. All right, four questions remaining in your first round. Name the mythical creature that has the front quarters of an eagle. Yes, that would be Ada. Hippogriff. That is incorrect. Patrick Henry, do you want me to complete? A griffin. A griffin is right. All right. What is the legendary bird that burns? Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Phoenix. Phoenix is correct. What is the massive group of stones arranged in a circle? Yes, that would be Ada. Stonehenge. Stonehenge is correct. And here's your final question in round one of our championship. Name the lyric poem of 14 lines. Yes, Patrick Henry. A sonnet. Sonnet is the answer. All right, let's exhale for a little bit here. Here's our score. It's a close one. Patrick Henry, you have 90 points. Ada with 100. We're moving into our second round right after the commercial break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you, and by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, we have a slight adjustment to make to our score. Right now, Ada, you have 90 points, Patrick Henry with 80. So we are moving into our second round of our championship game. Again, 20 questions. Get the buzzers ready. Is everybody set? Okay, here we go. Question one. In Greek mythology, name the nine-headed monster that grew. Yes, that'd be Patrick Henry. Uh, Celia. That is incorrect. Ada, you want me to complete the question? Please. In Greek mythology, name the nine-headed monster that grew two if one was chopped off. Yes. The Hydra. Hydra is the answer there. All right, question two. What island was the birthplace of Napoleon? Patrick Henry. Corsica. Corsica is correct. What kind of uh, gas was used in the trenches during World War I? Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Mustard gas. Mustard gas is correct. Number four, Portugal is bordered by what other country? That would be Patrick Henry. Spain. Spain is the answer. Name the first U.S. space shuttle to orbit the Earth. Patrick Henry. Friendship 7. That's incorrect. Ada, you want to try it? Discovery. Yes. Discovery. Discovery is also incorrect. The answer is Columbia. All right, question number six. What Indian battle was fought in June of 18... Yes, that would be Ada. Tippecanoe. Incorrect. Patrick Henry, you want me to complete the question? Yes, please. What Indian battle was fought in June 1876 in the Montana Territory? Yes. The Battle of Little Bighorn. You are correct. All right, number seven. Igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Rocks. Rocks is correct. What is the second largest city in Australia? Patrick Henry. Brisbane. Incorrect. Ada, you want to try it? Yes. Sydney. Sydney, also incorrect. Melbourne is the answer. 
All right, question nine in our second round. What U.S. chemist created the element plutonium? Yes, Patrick Henry. Uh, Hershey. <laughs> that is incorrect. Ada, you can try it. Yes. Faraday. That is also incorrect. The name is Glenn Seaborg. All right, number 10. Give the name of the fallen angel that became, yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Lucifer. Lucifer is correct. All right. Last 10 questions now in our second round. Who was the creator of Sherlock Holmes? Yes, Patrick Henry. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. That is the correct answer. What is the name of legendary King Arthur's kingdom? Yes, Patrick Henry. Camelot. Camelot, yeah. correct. The character Andy Griffith lived in what small town in North Carolina? Patrick Henry. Mayberry. Mayberry is the answer. What was President Andrew Jackson's nickname? Patrick Henry. Old Hickory. Old Hickory is correct. In what state is the United States Air Force Academy? Yes, Patrick Henry. Maryland. Maryland is incorrect. Ada, you want to try it? Colorado. Colorado is the answer. All right, in the game of chess, which piece moves in an L shape? Patrick Henry. Knight. Knight is correct. <laughs> Who was the original host of the TV show, The Price is Right? We will accept Ada. Steve Harvey. <laughs> Steve Harvey is incorrect. Patrick Henry, you want to try it? Yes. Alex Trebek. <laughs> Alex Trebek, also incorrect. This one cuts, okay? Yeah. It's Bob Barker. Yeah. Oh, All right. <laughs> Question 18. Gumbo is a stew that originated in what state? All right, Ada. Louisiana. Louisiana is the answer. What makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise? Yes, Patrick Henry. Mm. Sorry. Sorry. Nate. All right, you've got a chance here, Ada. Yes. Early to bed and early to rise. That is the answer. All right, here's your final question in round two of your championship game. What dinosaur had a name that means tyrant? Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex is the answer. Okay, we've come to the end of round two. Here's our score. Patrick Henry with 200 points, Ada 130. We'll be back with our final 20 questions of our championship game right after the break. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you. And by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, we're moving into our final round of our championship game between Ada and Patrick Henry High Schools. We have 20 questions remaining. All of the players still having fun. We haven't worn anyone out yet, right? Okay, let's go with our 20 questions. Question number one. Give the last names respectively of Romeo and Juliet. Yes, Ada. Capulet and Montague. That is incorrect. Patrick Henry. Montague and Capulet. That's what we're looking for. All right. Question number two. What measured 300 cubits by 50 cubits? Yes, Patrick Henry. Noah's Ark. Noah's Ark is correct. Name the author of the Star Spangled Banner. Patrick Henry. Francis Scott Key. Francis Scott Key is the answer. The ink blot test is named after, yes, Ada? Rorschach. Rorschach is correct. Name the three races that make up the triple Yes, that would be Ada. 
The Triple Crown. Kentucky Derby. That's all I got. <laughs> all right, Patrick Henry, you've got a chance to answer this one. Okay, the answer is Kentucky Derby, Preakness Stakes, and Belmont Stakes. All right, question number six. What disaster occurred in 1871 in Chicago? Yes, Ada? The Chicago Fire. That is correct. Who wrote How the Grinch Stole Christmas? Ada. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss is correct. What are the two letters in Scrabble which have the highest? Yes, Patrick Henry. X and Z. That is incorrect. Ada, you want to try it? Yes. X and Q. That is incorrect. It is Q and Z. All right, question number nine. Name the largest lake in Africa. Yes, Patrick Henry. Lake Victoria. That is the answer, Lake Victoria. How many holes are in a full round? Yes, that would be Ada. 18 holes. 18 is correct. All right, our score right now. Patrick Henry with 240 points, Ada with 170. We have 10 questions remaining in your game. The average body contains how many pints of blood? Ada. 10. 10 is the answer. <laughs> All right. Who was Ichabod Crane's pursuer? That would be Ada. The Headless Horseman. The Headless Horseman is correct. <laughs> what is the numerical basis of the metric system? That would be Ada. 10. That is not the answer we're looking for. Patrick Henry? Yes. 100. That is also incorrect. We're looking for the answer, the decimal system. All right. Who divided the mind into three parts? Yes, that would be Ada. Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud is correct. Question 15 in our final round of our championship game. Give the nickname of Kentucky. Yes, Ada? The Bluegrass State. Bluegrass State is correct. What plant eases the pain from sunburns? Yes, Patrick Henry. Aloe. Aloe is correct. Give the X word designating a chemical element an inert, yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Xenon. Xenon is correct. All right. Three questions remaining here in the championship. Identify the first and last name of the Rolling Stones lead singer. Yes, Patrick Henry. Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger is correct. The Great Pyramid of Giza is located in what? Yes, Ada. Egypt. That is incorrect. Patrick Henry, you want me to complete the question? Yes, please. The Great Pyramid of Giza is located in what Egyptian city? Yeah, sure. Yes. Cairo? Cairo is the answer. All right, everyone, here's our final question in the championship. In what city is the Pentagon located? Yes, that would be Ada. Washington, D.C. Incorrect. Patrick Henry? Arlington. Be more specific. Arlington. Arlington, Virginia? That's what we're looking no. for. Arlington, Virginia. Okay. Yeah. All right. Everyone exhale now. We've come to the end of our championship game. We do have a winner outright. Ada, you had 210 points. Patrick Henry, congratulations. You are the winners with 290 points. We'll be back to talk with both teams right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Whiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success, rhodesstate.edu, and by Hupy Hamburgers, 
the taste of Lima since 1928. And a big thank you does go out to our sponsors. Right now, though, this is the time that we celebrate. We started out with 16 teams. We are down to our final two. Ada and Patrick Henry High Schools went at it for the championship, and it was a great game. Patrick Henry came up the winners for the very first time. Congratulations. We're going to talk to you in a minute. But Ada, once again, a great showing. Dave, you had a, a wonderful team again, some real gentlemen here, and I'm sure you're very proud. I am very proud of them. Yes, they did a great job, and they fought hard. Congratulations to, Pat to Patrick Henry on their, uh, on their win tonight. Great effort from all you guys, and uh, just a great match. Absolutely. Now we have three seniors and one returning, and that would be you next year, right? Yeah. All right. Well, we will see you next year, and um, we really thank all of you guys for being part of this. You're a good group. All right. Turning now to Patrick Henry High School. Congratulations. Your first win with WizQuiz. Oh, yeah. The we're pretty excited about that. We've been coming for a long time, but we've never gotten even nothing to the second night. Yes. Now, Dave Lusk was telling me that he is a science teacher. You are a social studies teacher. Does that matter when you are preparing the, the students for these questions? Well, I don't know if that matters or not, other than you know if the answer is right or not. <laughs> That's true. But otherwise, uh, they're pretty well-rounded in things. I think social studies probably is one of their strongest points, but yes. I really don't know why that is. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But you have, um, a, I think, all seniors this year. The, the starting four were all seniors, yes. Okay. All right. Well, we wish you the very best. Please use your minds to uh, make this world a better place. We need you very much. And um, we will see you back next year, right? Yeah. Very good. Well, we want to thank you at home for watching. We really appreciate your support. I know a lot of you play along, and uh, we will see you back here next year in the fall. Until then, have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye. You guys can wait.